Ian is right. This is what it's all about. The ultimate RV show and having a good time, getting you on the road, taking care of you and making sure, most of all, you get the right unit that's specifically designed. That's right. Just for everything you could possibly need. And that's what this weekend is all about. And we continue. I'm telling you what, when you leave, if you can't say you're not watching, or you're not watching. You're like, oh, you're not watching. <laughs> uh, say you're just, you know, tuning in or you're, you're telling your friends about it or somebody tells you about that's it. That's right. You're like, you know what? We need to go over to Camping World or we need to get to a Gander RV and Outdoor. And we need to look at some of the units because these will continue. This is just the kickoff. That's right. We're just beginning all the, the excitement. Ex- Extravaganza, right? And say you don't have time to get out yet, that's fine. You could text us with any questions. If something's caught your eye, text URVS to 46642, and we can answer anything. Or maybe you want to get on the phone. I'm a talker. I have questions that are longer than a text. Call 866-853-3510, and our specialists are standing by. If it's financing, if it's layout, if it's finishes, We've got the answers to those questions. And we've also been doing uh, a little sneak peeking ourselves and stepping into some of these incredible units. More first looks are on the way. We've got one coming up, as a matter of fact. And when you talk about outdoor kitchens, and I know Chris is really going to be excited about this one. Uh, He's really into it. We've got some great availability. We've got plenty of inventory. We've got tens of thousands of units. Ready to go. Ready to go right now. And the financing is easy. It's so easy. And you have to know that if something here has caught your eye and you're like, well, this is what we've been pointing out and you've been showing me. If it's bunks you need, if it's a king bed, a queen bed, we have everybody standing by to answer those questions. And I cannot wait to see the bunk houses that we're starting with, Chris. Oh, it's time to go to bunk houses. One of our favorites, Chris. Why don't you just take it away and give us that look? Yes, bunkhouses are some of the most popular RVs because they're versatile and offer you the space for those family getaways. Now, if you've been looking for that family bunkhouse, mid-tier RV, something about 30 feet long, weighing roughly 6,110 pounds dry, can easily sleep eight, upgraded features and amenities and beauty, check out the 2022 Heartland Mallard 251BH. We're gonna start right back here in the rear campsite where you have double over double bunks with that plush teddy bear series style mattress, good three inches thick, foamy, the kids will love it. 200 pound capacity on both of these. Plus you got the blackout window back there, LED light here. Underneath, you got the same thing, little LED reading light here if you need it. Solid ladder mounted into the frame here and a suspension netting giving us some storage options to keep everything safe and secure. It's not just an open passway there. You actually got something that's gonna keep things in place. For your privacy, you got a little curtain. And Fritz, it's gonna be a tight turn for you to get in, man, but Check this out, a walk-in pantry. These are great not only for the you know the storage of the space of the shelves, but look at the room that we have here. You wanna keep hunting rifle cases in here. You wanna keep fishing rods in here. You got great space. Plus you got the hanger, the motion sensing light, and the solid wood shelves. Beautiful, easy to clean, slip resistant flooring in this one too. They've done a good job updating the decor of the Heartland Mallards as well. You'll notice the light gray with the dark black accents, really adding that rustic appearance and feel. Walk into the off-camp corner bathroom. They've redesigned it a little bit this year for 22. You got the plastic bowl with the foot flush, the extended counter right here with the single basin sink in my vanity, as well as the GFCI outlet mirrored medicine cabinet with those solid wood cabinetry, the light slate gray appearance on it. Really like that. Got the pull down blackout shade for my window. Linen storage here, fan and vent, but take a look at the redesigned shower. You got the shower surround here, and the door is this suspension door that is like an almost indestructible plastic on there. Plus, you got your shower nozzle, the skylight inlay, really giving you some good room. Now, the Mallard HVAC system, they do a good job. You got a 30,000 BTU furnace on this one, and you got a a 13.5 BTU air conditioner on this one. For 30 feet, Uh, Given that with that uh, aluminum frame, that two inch thick foam core insulation, four inch thick foam core insulation in the roof, plus the Asdell backing, uh, plus the enclosed underbelly, you'll be able to do some good three season camping inside this Mallard with some little tips, you know, and little additionals. For example, right here, the shelf on my entertainment center, you slide this out. And as my buddy Ian Baker says, this is your secure storage for those uh, people who are a fan of the second amendment. 
good little hideaway space there. I was hoping I'd have some M&Ms, but I see that the intern has found all of my hiding spots. Beautiful decor for your TV backer here, cable outlet, as well as power. HDMI is already wired from your IRV Technologies Command Center right here on the entertainment. Now, this is where you got your dual zones, it's Bluetooth, it's AM, FM, plus you got the HDMI and the USB. Got a little more storage down here. And over here on the off-camp side, you got a U-shaped dinette, can easily sit more than four people. And the thing that I like about what they've done with their cushions, they're overstuffed on pretty much everything you're gonna find inside the, the, the mallard, which means they're gonna be thick and plush, but you got the Selecta style. One side is light gray to go with the decor. The other side is dark gray. So if you say, you know what, I want a little bit of a darker in, you know, interior because dark shows stains and wear and tear a lot less, boom, you got the dark gray. You say, you know what, I wanna brighten it up a little bit. Just flip them around. This still reduces down into a sleeper, but it gives you a little bit of that kind of design flair to add to your RV. Some storage on both sides, underneath the bunks here, or excuse me, un underneath the booth dinette, the U-shaper, uh, and a carpet-free slide. Got some backlighting on the storage. I'm a fan of the frosted glass inlay that we have here. And they also added some soft glow backlighting to the fascia, which can be used as like an additional security Give me like a night light, but it really adds to the decor and brightness of this RV. Now, the oversized fridge over here is what's known as a doodle station. You'll see if you have chalk, uh, you can actually leave notes, or it gives a kid something to do uh, on rainy days. But if you need to make a note, you know, going to pick up something, you can. It's an eight cubic foot Dometic fridge freezer combo that is gas or electric. Really does a good job, you know, keeping things cool. Plus, a pretty good space, eight cubic feet. I mean, you can see how big it is right there. Master Chef redesigned kitchen for 22. What does that mean? You got pressed surface countertops, beautiful fixtures going all the way around with that matte black or the graphite black, the farmhouse style stainless steel undermounted sink and more countertop space. Add that to the beautiful decor on the backsplash and you have something that's gonna make you want to come use it as your vacation home. Recess three burner cooktop with a glass cover. Plus, you got a little LED accent light there. 16 inch graystone oven, flush mounted microwave, more storage up top. Just a beautiful design, beautiful decor, and over 80 inches of ceiling height on this one, too. And check it out, Fritz. Our ACs even has the quick cool dump. So if you're coming in from a hot day of fishing, hiking, doing whatever, you can open that up, get yourself cooled down, close it off, and boom, air conditioner's going right back through the ducting. They even took an additional step to finish off these uh, drawers inside here. I mean, I like how they put the applique down here and they made it the white wood. Just adding to, you know, it just looks a little bit better. And everything in here, too, is, is vacuum bonded. So you're going to have good, strong seals on everything around your mallet. Solid pocket door leading us into the master with a king-size memory foam mattress. And let me tell you, one of the things I try to tell people is if you're going to get your RV, get yourself your own mattress because... Uh, that's where you're going to be spending your time sleeping. With these, these memory foam mattresses, these are extremely comfortable. They're nice, they're plush, and it's king size. Nestled right here in the front cap, you got the frosted glass inlay here on the side opening storage doors. Very nice feature. You know, Fritzy, I'm going to fix my little mic microphone here. You got the frosted glass inlay there on the storage doors. And lift up this memory foam mattress. We got ourselves some storage compartment, but also some quick store right down there underneath. Over on the off camp side, you got a USB charging plus 110. So if you got that CPAP machine, you got space to put that. You also have a USB and charging over here. And then because this is that barn style door, I can't really open uh, this storage, but you do have more wardrobe storage right here. Plus your 110 and your cable connection right there. 30 feet long, roughly 6,100 pounds dry, can easily sleep eight. <clears throat> Has one slide that is housing, you know, the, the U-shaped dinette and the refrigerator, but great space 
open style floor plan, rugged, but beautiful all at the same time. Now let's go take a look at the outside of this Mallard 251BH. We're gonna start right back here, Kev, with this awesome finished off exterior kitchen. Now, if you notice, I, I like how they kind of made this look like the uh, grayed out Spanish tile back here, but you do have some prep space. You got the sink with the external shower. They're kind of giving you a double duty option right there. Your hot point fridge. And if you want to bring your grill, you'll see you got your little LP quick connect down there, as well as a heated and enclosed underbelly. Solid step over steps, large awning with the LED light strip, redesigned external speakers, tinted safety windows all the way around, and my wide track suspensions on my 14 inch aluminum rims with those nitro filled tires. That berth right there in between those Dexter Easy Loop axles, that wide tracks is really what's gonna help give you a smoother ride when going down the road. And another thing for 22, mm, just like my man right here is as strong as King Kong, Harlan Mallard is giving you King Kong size storage <laughs> up to 67 and a half cubic feet of space in this finished off pass-through storage. Mm. I see you found my M&Ms. Mm. The intern's not gonna be happy. Magnetic anti-slam doors on all your storage plus covered hinges all the way around. And Kev, take a look at this beautiful front cap. Automotive coating on this, LED running lights, fiberglass molded with that aggressive profile to really give you a smooth aerodynamic cruise while going down the road. Diamond plated rock guard, single welded frame on this one too, giving you some good support for this coach. Twin 20 pound LP tanks, powered stabilizer jacks, powered tongue jacks. And you'll see you got your controls, your toggle switches for your PSX ones right there for your front. And of course on your rear. Insulated slides too on the top and the bottom. And right here, because you got a sh pretty much external shower over there with your external kitchen, but you have one over here on the off-camp side too. Black tank flush, city water connection. There's your 30 amp plug, as well as, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, all of your main terminations and your drains. But the most important thing that you need to worry about when you're looking at the RV for you, for example, this 251BH, is gonna be this info panel right here. This is where you come to see, okay, how much does this one weigh? Now the dry weight on this one, 6110, 6,110 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, 7,882. Take that information back to your specialist at Camping World and Gander and say, hey, what does that mean? Here's what my vehicle can tow. Here's how many people I need to sleep. Here's where I'm gonna go camping. Cause three season camping is gonna be different in Buffalo than it is down in Albuquerque. So always think about that. But four inch, Foam core insulation on top, two inch foam core, the rest of the way, the rest of the way around. This Heartland Mallard can give you some good three season camping. And being 30 feet long, sleeping eight, I gotta tell you, if you're a family that's looking for that mid-tier RV with some upgraded features and amenities and plenty of storage space, this Heartland Mallard 251BH is one you should put up at the top of your list. And speaking of bunkhouses for the families, that's gonna be at the top of your list. I got the rest of your list coming up when the Ultimate RV Show continues. Hey everyone, I am Ian Baker and I'm in the Camping World store. I'm gonna go over some of the top things that, in my opinion, are must-haves before your first camping trip. Uh, things a lot of people just may not know about, but things that are going to protect your RV and basically get you set so you don't get out and be like, oh, what do I do now? First one I'm gonna do is a surge protector. So this is definitely a must-have. The, the reason is, there's a lot of great campgrounds out there, but a lot of them haven't been updated in a long time. And so when it comes to electric, you may have some issues, right? It may have low voltage. Um, if it's a busy holiday weekend, you may start to get brownouts or blackouts, right? Some problems that can cause some expensive damage to your RV. They're not the cheapest things in the world, but trust me, it is definitely something you wanna have, much less expensive than having issues. And next up is a twofer. You're gonna want a potable water line for your drinking water. Uh, believe it or not, I know I grew up drinking out of a garden hose. Eh, apparently they tell us it's not healthy. So they have a clean, safe drinking water hose right here. Uh, also with that, something that's very important to have is a flow regulator, a pressure regulator for your water. 
Sometimes, again, at the campsites, you'll have water pressure that's just gonna be way too high and it will damage your systems. It's definitely not something you want. You can see there is a slough available. Um, you can get one with a gauge. If it makes you feel comfortable, definitely not a bad idea. Stainless steel can be a good idea as well. That way you don't have to worry about anything uh, corroding on there if you keep it for a long period of time. But I'm probably just gonna go with the brass guy today and uh, make sure everything's nice and safe. All right, next thing, never leave home without it. Good OTP. Um, so a lot of people, right, I get this question quite often is, do you need RV toilet paper? The answer is yes, uh, and it's a pretty simple reason. So essentially, your black tank is kind of like it's, a, it's its own little ecosystem, its own little septic. And RV slash marine grade toilet paper is built to break down a lot faster. The last thing in the world you want is to have some kind of problem in your back black tank by using normal paper, having it gum up all your sensors. This will help prevent that. And we get to leveling blocks. Uh, this is something else you're definitely gonna want. You wanna make sure your RV is nice and level for a couple different reasons. One, so it's comfortable when you're walking around inside of it, you don't feel like you're falling. More importantly though, is for the operation of your refrigerator. You want everything to be nice and level. The leveling blocks will definitely aid you in that. So we're gonna take, I'm actually gonna buy two sets of these because we're rocking a dual axle trailer and this will make life easy. Not necessarily a must have, but uh, definitely something that you want are some cool party lights, right? Uh, I myself, I'm a flamingo guy, you know? You got some swirly lights there, you got Hawaiian lights. Ah, that's a tough call. I am Hawaiian in case you didn't know, but uh, might be a little too cliche, so we'll go with flamingos. It's a periscope. No, uh, this is a clear 90, so what you'll want this for as gross as it is, is to see what's coming through your sewer pipe. Uh, you're gonna hook this up, you're gonna pull your black tank, pull your gray tank, you wanna make sure everything's cleared out. If you have a black tank flush, this is super helpful because then you know that your black tank is actually running clean. And those are Ian's must-haves before your first camping trip. Hey, um, you got any jacks? You, we ain't playing go fishing, we're playing Uno. Oh man, see, that, see that's what happens when you put M&Ms in tea. <laughs> it, oh, hey Fritz, hey. Speaking of, you know, the intern's looking for these. <laughs> They're mine now. Sorry, Jace, sorry. Dude, I'm done. <laughs> look, well, look I, don't blame me, blame no, the no, M&Ms in tea. Him. I thought we were playing Go Fish. So great card games that you could play inside your family bunkhouse, which is what we're focusing on on this session. You could play right here in the rear portion of this 2022 Heartland Pioneer QB300. 35 feet long, roughly 6,900 pounds dry, can easily sleep eight, and features an entertainment bunk room that uh, you could use to get your friends irritated with you because <laughs> you don't pay attention well. I have the attention span of a goldfish. Speaking of, look at this beautiful twin over bunk that we have seated up here. Has its own lock mechanism. And the thing that I really like about this setup, the split bunk, bunk setup, is the entertainment center uh, or the entertainment space we have right here and the mini dining center that we have right here is versatile. Sure, this does reduce down into a sleeper. You got these plush cushions that are overstuffed. You see how thick that is? That is plush and comfortable. Plus, it's not that leatherette, so you won't have to worry about moisture and sticking. But the table is not attached to the wall. This is versatile. You can take it outside, use it as a prep table, use it as some additional space, or just reduce it down because it does shrink down, sits on the wood latches there, and this becomes your sleeping space with the bunk that pulls down. Now, you got your entertainment center right here, and for 2022, Pioneer did a good job brightening the interiors, but also giving you some darker accents. This is almost like a rustic kind of stone look and feel to this one. You got the hole for your connections. Put your TV right here, cable and power, plus some storage under there, and then here, on the campsite, 300 pound capacities on these bunk beds. Uh, good teddy bear plush ser series style mattresses on there too. Windows and LED lights and separation of space. Because this segment being all about bunk houses for the families, this RV being a great entry level bunk house for families, I gotta tell you, 
What Pioneer has done over the past few years, as far as stepping up everything, they really each year do some good strides. And I hate even calling it entry level because you do get some features in here that you don't get on a lot of entry level, like, you know, chef design kitchens, large spaces, large storage, uh, and, and featured amenities like solid wood construction. Pantry door here, as you can see, the shelves, which are removable. So if you need to make it pantry or ward space, you absolutely can. Because uh, bunkhouses also make great, not only base, uh, vacation homes, but they make great uh, cabins. So if you like hunting and fishing, you got some land where you want to do some of that, set these up. You can sleep up to eight people in here. Great separation of space. Porcelain bowl with the foot flush in the bathroom, so you get some upgraded features like that. Good countertop space right here, single basin sink, GFCI outlet, mirrored medicine cabinet, a little bit of raised lips right there, and I got my shower and tub surround, which having this option, the both of them is nice, especially if you have kids or dogs, because you can get them cleaned up in here. You don't have to worry about the splash over because you do have about that mid-calf high tub surround. Corner notches right here for your soaps, your shampoos, Plastic shower head right there, little vent and fan, LED light, 80 inches of clearance inside of these. Plus you got that easy to clean, slip resistant flooring in here as well. Light and bright and carpetless slides. I am a fan of that. Now, as far as your HVAC systems go, this one has the Advent air conditioner, which is a 13.5. Got the little quick cool dumps right here on the side. Got your vents right there, plus it is ducted. I uh, got double dumps on this one, which I think is a nice little feature. Two people can get quickly cooled off at the same time. 13.5 on the AC, 30,000 on the furnace. And on my campsite kitchen, upgraded. They're really going to appeal to the chefs with the Heartland Pioneers for 2022. You'll notice we have solid surface countertops. Great feature, sturdier, easier to clean. They look good, great prepping, and it gives you the option of having the undermounted stainless steel sink, the 50-50 split. Got a high-rise faucet right there, a recessed three-burner cooktop by Suburban with the glass cover, which just kind of, you know, expands your prep space right there. And you got the Suburban 17-inch oven right there. Eight cubic foot fridge freezer combo, which runs on both gas or electric. And this also has the doodle station. For somebody like me, who's a dad, this is, is actually a really nice feature. Cause not only can you leave some notes, you know, hey, going to the store, you know, going to the marina, whatever. But if it's a rainy day, your kids need something to entertain them a little bit, give them some chalk, have them draw you some stuff on there. It, it, you know, I'm a goofball like that though. Runs on both gas and electric, good space for those long weekend getaways. Flush mounted graystone microwave right here, frosted glass inlays in my cabinets too. I really like the texture and the look on this. Just kind of gives it that almost, we're in a winter cabin with the frost on the windows look. Good space too with these over 80 inch high ceilings. Large window. And over here on the off camp side, just like with my space, back in the bunk room, Look at the U-shaped dinette right here, which does double into a sleeper. This table reduces down. You can easily fit two people. Large panoramic windows with decorative wood balances. I got the blackout shades there. You got dual USB charging. But let me tell you, this is where, when you finally dip your toe into the RV water and you get your first family RV, this is where you realize you're making those memories. You're making those connections. You're disconnected from everything. You're seeing America the safest way possible in your RV, and you are living it right here. When you look up, enjoying that camp cook meal, playing the card games, playing the board games, as long as you get them right, you realize I'm making memories. And it's a beautiful thing. Look how beautiful that smells. Speaking of beautiful, I like the nice light wood inlay here in the slides. Five foot eight on the slide height. Jackknife sofa, which is plush and comfortable over here. Once again, you're gonna notice for 22, they're really taking comfort and style into play uh, when they're designing things. The furniture's a little bit thicker, it's a little bit more plush. You got entertainment options like we have right here leading into the master area. This entertainment space with that rustic appearance. Got a little storage shelf up there. 110 plus my cable connection here. My IRV Technologies Command Center, which is Bluetooth, it's dual zone, it's also USB and HDMI. Some more storage there. And since this duct is right in front of the entertainment center, I kind of call this mudroom storage. So if you come in from like a cold hike or whatever, throw your boots right there, cut the heat on, that does a good job of heating them up. Control panel right here so I can check my tanks, my batteries, plus cut on my water pump, my water heater. 
And then we got the queen size bed here in the master. You got uh, double access on this too, thanks to the panel, uh, to, to the uh, slide away doors. Got some storage underneath. There we go, Fritz. Look at it. And you got mirrored ward storage on both sides, plus little cubbies. So you can access it from the side without having to get up and open to get to the plug, to get to the light, to charge your cell phone. Plus you got the storage lip, little storage shelf, and double windows for cross fl flow of air. And just, I mean, solid construction. They're finishing off the uh, things like the drawers with the applique in the bottom, plus, you know, the, the white covering, solid wood construction, full extension, really maximizing the space and the flow in here. I mean, the slide really does give us a lot of room. 35 feet long, roughly 6,900 pounds dry, sleeps eight, has a 41 gallon fresh tank and dual 40s, 40 gallon gray, 40 gallon black. So, you know, extending that long weekend, giving you some additional capacity to kind of stay out there for the extra day. Call the boss on Monday and say, I'm not feeling too good. I think I'm gonna stay home because you know the lake is full of fish and you wanna catch some more. Solid step over steps coming out of the main entry here, friction hinge door, extra large grab handle. Plus we got the large awning with the LED light strip and there's my external speakers, marine grade. They're loud and you can really do a good job of, you know, really doing some entertaining out here. You got your low point drains, cable connection and power right there. Black tank flush and freshwater connection here. We got the 14 inch steel rims with the nitro filled tires there on the Dexter Easy Lube axles. And that extra wide berth right here in the suspension is really gonna help give us more of a safe and secure ride. Plus we got the enclosed underbelly on this. Add that to uh, the graphics, the gray, the blue, the black. I like that because gone are the days of the brown on brown. Just was not a fan of that. Another thing that comes with the Pioneers, if you like to take the bikes with you or maybe need additional space for the coolers, they do have the tailgate storage system, which comes standard on the Pioneers like this because you got a space for that. You got the rack, plus you got your spare tire mounted, backup camera, those arch ceilings right there and the three inch rain nozzles really do a good job of keeping the rain, the water, the snow off the top of the RV and off the slides and of course off of you. City water connection here, as well as external shower with hot and cold. Plus I got my 30 amp service right there, and my main terminations right there underneath. You see the gray tank and the black tank. And I mentioned you got the 41 and the dual 40s on this one. The slide is also insulated on the bottom. And the cool thing about what they've done for 22, you're gonna notice in here, whenever you're talking about the external storage, King Kong a lot. They're giving these King Kong size storages. You can get up to 62 and a half more cubic feet of storage inside the Pioneers with on one side, sometimes extra high or extra wide doors. So if you need to get the chairs or the coolers in there, you now have the option to do that in your pass through storage. Plastic clips and covered hinges on all your storage doors. And one of the most important things when you're talking about picking up the RV that's right for you and your loved ones is coming and taking a look at this info panel. This is where you come to see, okay, how much does this vehicle weigh? Now the dry weight on this QB300 Pioneer is 6896. Gross vehicle weight on this one, 9,000 pounds. That's where you take that information back to your specialist at Camping World and at Gander and you say, wait a minute, hey, what, what does that mean? Because he, here's what my truck can tell. Here's how many people I need to sleep, and here's where I'm gonna go camping. You give us that information, we can help find the RV that's gonna be right for you and your family, your loved ones, because you wanna enjoy that camping experience. But I gotta tell you, for 35 feet long, roughly 6,900 pounds dry, can sleep eight. If you're looking for a good entry-level bunkhouse that has diamond-plated rock guards, super flex roof, this aggressive you know, combination profile over here, aluminum and fiberglass, plus power tongue jack, power stabilizer jacks, I would definitely put a check mark in the box of the 2022 Heartland Pioneer QB300. 35 feet, sleeps eight, and the bunk room set up for some good entertaining. Speaking of good entertaining, I think we have some more when Bunkhouses for the Families continue next with the Ultimate RV Show. We're here! Don't settle for the trips you've always taken. You can travel to new places and seek new adventures. You're so fun. I know. <laughs> All without leaving home behind. Hi. Travel different with Camping World. Ah, oh, sir, focus. Oh. 
Oh, no, no. These are for the giveaway. Listen. Oh, that's right. Okay. We've got work to do. Yes, focus. We are here <laughs> at the Ultimate RV Show with some of our awesome show specialists standing by to take your calls right now because now's the time to buy. That's right. And we're here in Indiana because this is where 80% of RVs are made. And instead of making them come to us, honey, we went to them so we can get them to you right away. All the factory fresh RVs are rolling out right now with the Ultimate RV Show. You're going to get a right. chance to see some of those. But with over that tens of thousands of RVs on the lot right now that you can take home right now at over 180 locations. You don't have to wait eight months like That's you'd right. have to if you went to the competition. Come to Camper World, come to Gander. You get to get your RV now and not have to wait for it. And I'm a, I'm a caller, so I have a bunch of questions. I want to know floor plans. I want to know finishes. I want to know layouts. Call us, 866-853-3510. Maybe you don't have time to call. Yep. Give us a text. Give us a text. Just text URVS to 46642. And if you got to trade in, don't worry about it. We're paying thousands of dollars over book value for those quality trade-ins. Best part, we'll come get it and we'll even deliver your new RV to you. will? That easy. Yep. Oh my gosh. Only thing I'm not doing is taking the grease stain off the driveway. Yeah, that's a whole different headache, honey. But we, we, what is not a headache is talking to us and our specialists are waiting to do that. 866-853-3510. Call us now. Get your RV now. I want sugar now. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> They're on the way. I'll be right here. Ooh, romantic picnic on top of the RV, huh, Romeo? I was defending her from a hawk. Uh, he was diving after a grape that was rolling off. Got it. Hashtag worth it. <laughs> oh, I'm coming with you. Stay there. No, you have to drive Buster and the RV back home. Actually, good Sam Travel Assist has you covered. We'll make sure your RV and Buster and even the grape get home safely. So the last leg of your journey looks, well, better than that leg. Make every trip a good trip. Good Sam. Everything you need to have a good trip. No, look, I'm I'm telling you, this is this is a great space to put the keyboard. Because you it think is. about, look, this is my concerto room. You know, you could just do the Elton John thing. Saturday nights, all right, we'll fight in. Saturday nights, all right, all right, all right. All right, Chris, that's enough. Let's oh, get so to the. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> hey, hey, Kev, what's happening? Chris Young, my friend Natalie Nockwin here from East to West Silver Lake. And Natalie, tell me. What is Silver Lake? Before we get started on this beautiful 29 KBH, what yeah. is Silver Lake? Silver Lake is the dedicated label for Gander RV and Camping World. Um, we build RVs for your adventure from concept to completion. Love it. Um, our um, RVs are packed with amenities and the quality construction, so you have the ultimate RV experience. At the Ultimate RV Show. Yes. Oh, that's right. I see what you did there. Look at you dropping a little dime. Yes. I'll pick it right up. So, uh, yeah, I am a fan of how East to West makes because you guys really do a good job of shrinking the carbon footprint, too, because you really believe in conserving and, you know, saving the environment. So, it also allows you to pass along a lot of savings. So, is that really how we're able to upgrade the features inside and get those amenities? Is that kind of how you're able to kind of boop, 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 yes. sneak them in? Yep. We uh, standardize all the features um, across every single floor plan. So, we're able to add all those um, at the standard low price that you get. I like how you've made East to West kind of simple with picking a floor plan too. You guys took some of the more popular ones and you know, kind of just said, look, here's here's your deal, here's what you get. But for an entry level family bunkhouse, now this one's 37 feet, eight inches, roughly 8,328 pounds dry, can sleep eight people comfortably. And I love the design of this bunk room. Nat, tell me what am I looking at here? Right here on the bottom here, this pulls out to a queen bed. Oh yeah, this folds down. Um, and then if, when you put down the struts, you get more sleep space. More sleep space, yeah. yeah. See, and, and we're not gonna take the plastic off and pull this over. That is a 10 inch memory foam mattress that is queen size. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, because this is such a gorgeous popular unit, I think this one might already be taken. So that's why we're not gonna <laughs> take the plastic off. But I like how you put the strut supporting on the the bunks here, this is a nice, oh, I did it backwards, but you'll kind of get the picture here. Yep. I like this because now, not only do you have a great configuration in this bunk room for kids, adults, uh, but dogs as well, and you don't have to use all of the area. You can just have it part entertaining because we got the cable and TV backer right here. I see you got dual USB charging on both the camp and the off camp side. Very nice mm -hmm. feature. Cable hookup 110. I got me a little component shelf. Beautiful decor. We're going to talk about this decor here in just a minute, but I like the space that we have there. That's yeah. If this was our hunting cabin or a fishing cabin, bam, cases, and then 
I see you yeah. got your little escape hatch too. Tell me about that. That's just a quick access to the back of the camp right. round and there's a, yeah. Which is where you would bail if I started playing the keyboard. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I dig it. <laughs> so uh, you got the uh, pocket door right here giving you some good separation of space. And I noticed this year you guys did some interior changes too. This is, this is a completely different color. We did. We uh, lightened it up a bit and added some extra features for you. And then it's called Sterling Beige. So, so. Ster Sterling Beige. Sterling I feel like interior. I need a monocle, a pipe, and a cocktail when I say that. Did, did you come up with that? Oh, I did. I love it. I, yeah, this is such a beautiful, yeah, almost like tannish gray yep. style decor in here. And, you know, I love with the pantry that we have right here, the color, the scheme, the paneling. You continued that over to the eight cubic foot Dometic fridge freezer combo right here that uh, is both gas and electric. Yep. I like how you continued that. It's, it, you know, because to me, it's the aesthetic. It's just one of those little small things that somebody's going to see and appreciate. They're going to say, oh, this is nice. And, and the yeah. big 48-inch uh, dinette. Let me tell you, this. It's very spacious. 48-inch. 48, 48 inches. Okay, so this is a full-size bed. Yeah. Oh, okay. Put yeah, it down into a sleeping space. You can easily get two people Pull in Pull down here. the black blackout shades. Now, you guys got bigger windows in this this year, too. We sure do. I see you got. Pull them up on both sides. Good cr cross flow of air. Plus, yeah, we got the blackout shades, the solid wood balances, the decorative sterling beige decor <laughs> on that. My mushroom lights. The thing I love about this, not only the space, you could easily fit more than four people yeah, here while sure. you're eating. Family, uh, friend. Plush and comfortable overstuffed cushions, too. Like how you went with that. You went with the light on uh, slate gray. I really love that look. And you also took out the carpet in the slide. We did. It's a woven PVC marine grade flooring. So it's... Still resistant, yeah. easy to clean. Oh, if you got pets, that's, or kids, period. Right. That's gonna be awesome. But no, this is always for me the place where families make memories. Yes. Enjoy the camp cook meals, play the card games, play the board games, just disconnect and reconnect. I love this space. Now, if this were a ladies' weekend and we were going to the winery, I would have all the room to not only entertain, but also to cook right here. Check out my L shaped kitchen. You guys put in the pressed surface countertops. Yep, and then the sink is the uh, stainless farmhouse sink that's undermounted, and then we've got the nice high-rise residential faucet. The sprayer faucet. Yeah. Let me tell you, yeah. for for entry level, you don't you don't get those features and amenities. You really don't. This, I mean, not only having the oversized undermounted st sink right here, stainless steel, having the sprayer faucet for cleaning, but also for like you know taking care of stuff, vegetables, fruits, you know the meats, <laughs> whatever. That is such a nice feature to have as opposed to trying to you know, angle stuff under. Good countertop prep space, large window on the campsite. I like the addition of the split handles here on the cabinetry too. Very nice with the sterling beige decor. Good space on your shelves and your storage stores too because we've got 81 inches of clearance up here on the ceilings. Flush mounted microwave. Uh, you got the three burner cooktop right here and the oven plus plenty of drawer storage. There you go, Kev. Got the spot for the trash can right there. Fun fact, you can uh, put knives back there, uh, knife storage back behind the uh, these slits right here. Oh, get out of town. Yeah, nice knife storage, so. What a nice little added feature. <laughs> yeah. Okay, see, look at the, look at the, oh, and they're different sizes too. Uh-huh. So oh, see, once again, was that. More storage built in. See, so. was that a, now was that a Natalie feature that you <laughs> added in? Oh, no. Kind of like the sterling beige. <laughs> no, that was not me. <laughs> I <laughs> want to know how you came up with sterling beige. <laughs> Just uh, Silver Lake. Sterling. Because, I, I mean, it sounds it like a nice. character from a Danielle Steele novel. <laughs> I love it, though. Classy. <laughs> it is classy. Speaking of, uh, once again, plush and comfortable jackknife sofa right here next to the booth dinette. Large panoramic window. And that right behind you is the fireplace. Yeah, the 31-inch fireplace. Mm -hmm. uh, great for fall nights and getting into the winter. So. Yeah, these are roughly 5,000 BTUs of heat. They are electric, but Kev, if you notice in the shot, it's got the, you know, the multi-flame setting, that backlighting. Look how cool that looks when you're just sitting here chilling. You got your Furion AM FM command center right there, Bluetooth, dual zone, HDMI, uh, and you got the 32-inch LED TV on the swivel. So if you want to do some entertaining, sit here, enjoy the cross breeze from the windows, knock the chill off the air with the fireplace. That is a great, just awesome setting for, I think, any couple or family, yep. you know? And, and I like how you also made the decor just lighter and brighter than it was even just last year. 
Man alive, this is beautiful, man. All right, tell me about what we got bathroom. here in the bathroom. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I already see something different. All right, porcelain bowl, high rise with the foot flush. Not gonna be cramped left or right. And Kev, you see this vent right here? So with the 15,000 BTU AC that we have in the Silver Lakes and the 35,000 BTU uh, furnace that we have in there, what East to West did was they ducted the vents inside the cabinetry so that you don't have soft spots on the floor. And for entry level, that's another great feature that you're not gonna get. Single basin sink right here. I got my graphite black fixtures. My medicine cabinet right there. But Nat, come on. Y'all went and added the glass shower. Tell me about this. We got the Neo Angle glass enclosure. Was this also your choice? Of course, no. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, customer feedback. So we always take the feedback from the customer on what they might like. So. Okay. Uh, added space above for all you tall people. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I hit my head on the shower nozzle right there. I got the corner notches, single surround. I am a fan of the Neo Angle. You've heard me say it many times before. It does give you a little bit more space or the perception of having some more set space. Plus, I got the skylight right there with the inlay. And then in the master bedroom, because East to West Silver Lake, pretty much everything uh, that they make, the model is going to have the letter K in it. And that, what's the K stand for? King bed. You get in your entry level bunkhouse, entry level Silver Lake, which you know what? It's not really entry level. You guys have gone mid tier. You absolutely have gone mid tier, but stayed at the entry level price point, which is great for those people that are looking to get into the camping world. King size bed, memory fat, memory foam. I got the strut supported storage underneath. Come on, Kev, we don't even have to break our backs to lift it up. <laughs> Ward storage, plus cubby storage, dual USB charging. And that beautiful sterling beige decor continues right here in the bed. And it looks like uh, I am set up for second AC. So this is a 50 amp RV. Because you got the spot right there. If you want to put in second AC, you absolutely can. Pocket door. To be 37 feet, 8 inches. 8,300 pounds. Sleeping eight people. Can't this beat is, it. I know you can't beat it. This is like the... This is the getaway wagon. And it sure is. Right? Yeah. All right, so we've seen the inside of the East West Silver Lake. Let's go take a look at the outside. Tell me about what we got out here. Well, you, first you go down the standard solid Moride step above steps. Love it. Um, and then we've got the upgraded grill. So we have a griddle now. Yes. Um, and the nice refrigerator. Yeah, the little mini dorm style your, fridge. Keep all your beverages. I mean, like I said, I can't have my outdoor bourbon without my outdoor fridge. But no, adding this, this is this was probably based off of feedback too, right? It was, yeah. People said, hey, you know, we want to expand that cooking because having the griddle really opens up cooking, breakfast, lunch, the whole nine. I see we've got nitro-filled tires. Um, and you guys are going to be putting the Goodyear Endurances on the east to west. We right? are. That's another change that we'll be rolling. So um, we'll get the Goodyear tires coming up here soon. That's awesome. We got the large awning with the LED light strip, marine grade speakers outside, black tank flush. Is it a heated and enclosed underbelly? It's heated via force air heat okay. into the underbelly. Uh, it's fully closed and sealed. So you can That's extend awesome. your camping season. Got my stabilizer jacks in the front and the rear and large pass out storage. I see you guys went with the, oh gosh, what is it? 28 by 18 door out 28 here? 28 by 16. 28 by 16. Yep. So that's big enough to put a camp chair. A fold-up chair in. Yep. And then we got the diamond-plated rock guard, that one-piece roof, the twin 20s powered tongue jack. And I also noticed you guys added the convenience center on yes. the outside as well. Yep. Uh, we call this the universal docking station. It's got all your hookups in one central location, so it's easy to dock up and hook all your... All your gear up. I tell you what, once again, you guys have nailed it with the great family bunkhouse. 8,328 pounds dry, 37 feet, 8 inches, can easily sleep 8. Natalie, thank you so much. And we got more with the Ultimate RV Show coming up next. The Murnovator has arrived. So my name is Marna Valerio. I'm also known as the Murnovator. Currently, I'm best known for being an ultramarathoner. So I am in Virginia Beach right now, and I'm loving it. I think that what I like most about traveling in an RV is that I can be outside as much as I want to. I can be in beautiful spots, I can be by the water, but I can also come in and reset and have a space that I can call my own before heading out on another adventure. 
Summer is for berries. Summer is for bananas. Look how pretty that is. Anytime that I can be on a trail in any part of the world, I am a happy person. I love traveling to new places and exploring them on foot. And that's kind of what being a long distance runner is about. It's, it's exploring and testing your body and being in new places. In 2008, I had a health scare where I thought I was having a heart attack through lots of doctor's appointments, figuring out my life, and it prompted me to start running again. From crisis came a lot of opportunity and uh, a chance to renew yourself. So I started doing all these races, and then it became more public when I started my blog, Fat Girl Running. I wanted to share that I, as a plus-size woman, could run. Other plus-size people could run too. We could defy people's expectations of us, and we could also defy our own expectations of ourselves. I love the beach. Perhaps what I like most about this particular place is that it's surrounded by water. I'm literally 20 feet away from water right now. And so I love waking up to the sounds of water. And like part of what I love to do is bringing adventure to people. I, you know, I definitely see myself bringing along my family so that they can experience the bounty of travel, the bounty of nature. So if you're somebody that really loves the outdoors and you want to create a life for yourself outdoors, I think RVing is a really good way to go about that. Everybody wants to get in on these. <laughs> Let me tell you, if you have been looking for that premier luxury bunkhouse RV, I got it for you. I am standing in the rear portion of the all new 22 Keystone Outback 340BH. 38 feet, six inches long, roughly 8,800 pounds dry, can sleep nine, but is packed with premium features that you're not gonna find on many like RVs. That's why I call the Outbacks the chalet of RVs because you do feel like you're almost in the Swiss Alps at your chalet. You got beautiful solid hardwood construction all the way around, which is a calling card for Keystone. You got the 78 inch barrel style ceilings in here. And in this bunk room, you're set up for not only separate sleeping area, but also separate entertaining space as well. Sure, you got the double over bunk right here on the campsite with the 300 pound capacity. Entertainment and storage center, plus the hideaway ladder. Got some doors right there, a little mudroom storage, and I don't really know what you could put in there, but it's, it's a door that leads to a space. Because when you're at your chalet, you're gonna have things that you don't know what they are, okay? That's just how it goes. Over here on the off-camp side, uh, they've added uh, what they call the 3D touch to the slides. I like that because it does give it more of a rustic appearance, but it's also you know pretty cool to kind of just see how everything flows together. You do have the twin bunk on the strut support up top, 150 pound capacity on that, and the plush, comfortable Thomas Paine hide-a-bed sofa underneath, which could probably sleep two people fairly comfortably since it is a full-size bed. And Kev, if you notice the slides, you see how there's no carpet, but not only is there no carpet, it makes it appear as if the continuation of the graphics of the floor go all the way through the slide. They measured that out so that it would be more appealing to the eye. Solid decorative door leading us into the main living area and kitchen space where we have opposing slides on this 340BH, opening it up and allowing us to have the island kitchen with the solid surface countertop. Got my drying rack over my stainless steel undermounted farmhouse style sink, high rise residential faucet and sprayer. Let me tell you with the Outbacks, they are not cutting any corners. They are giving you the creature comforts of home that you want to use while you're in your RV. Got the little skylight over the sink right here, plus the residential LED sconces, decorative. Uh, the only thing you gotta watch out for is when you're over the sink, if you got a big head like mine, you might end up knocking it. Got the GE 12 volt fridge right here, 10 cubic foot fridge freezer combo. It is vibration smart plus frost resistant in there. 
And over here on the off-camp side, this is where some entertainment and most of our kitchen uh, prep space and cooking space is nestled. You got a little storage compartment right here, strut supported, solid wood construction, flush mounted high point microwave, which is a higher output. Most of them are 900 watts, this one's 1,000. Plus you got the solid surface there. Flush mounted three burner cooktop with the glass cover, the Furion with the grill style grate and the oversized oven on the bottom. So while you're out camping, you wanna bake the chicken, bake the shrinky dinks, you got the shot to do it right there. Plus you got the slide out pot and pan drawer, which also matches the aesthetic. Some more storage underneath the pressed or the solid surface right here. And Kev, check me out. Entertainment center with a large panoramic window behind it and the TV telescopes. So if you wanna bring it down, bring it up, you got the option there. You got your Jensen AM FM Command Center with CD, DVD player, it's Bluetooth, and one of my favorite features in RVs now, these fireplaces, they're electric, they have the blower, you got the multiple light settings, the multiple flame settings, really does a good job of kicking the, uh, knocking the chill off the air, because you're looking at roughly 4,800 BTUs of heat coming off of there. When you tack that onto the 15,000 BTU Coleman Mach AC, with the blade pure system in it, the quick cool dumps, and the 35,000 BTU furnace inside of this with the tough lock duct joiners to give you that sturdy, almost indestructible ducting underneath this beautiful flooring and the beautiful hyper deck flooring. This is a polypropylene laminated fiberglass. What does that mean? I don't know. I didn't star in Breaking Bad. It's a lot of chemicals that make sure there's no moisture that comes in this coach and helps with the insulation. Over here on the off camp, or excuse me, over here on the campsite, I got my comfy Thomas Paine plush top recliners. Got me a little, yeah, this is plush, this is comfortable. A little storage spot there, some cups, these do recline. And then I got my booth dinette right here as well. The table matching that rustic decor that you're going to find here in the Outback 340BH. This does reduce down into a sleeper. It is kind of a dream dinette. There's no legs there. It's attached to the wall. So this just pushes down, stands out. And you'll notice with the cushions, let me show you this cab. Not only they Velcroed in to keep them in place, but the bottom flips up. So you can access the storage that way. There's a solid panel on the bottom, so it's not just a cushion on top of a cover. It's actually built into the cushion. I mean, because why not? Dual USB charging on both sides, plus we got large panoramic windows, the decorative balances, the wood inlays here with my mushroom lights. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm a fan of the Outbacks. That's why I call them the chalets. Got the barn-style door for my pantry slash ward storage right here. I feel like I should have a snifter with something in it and a smoking jacket, you know? Welcome to my chalet. Can I show you the lavatory? Here we go. Beauty continues all the way through this too. You got the porcelain high rise bowl with the foot flush, oversized counter with the decorative single basin sink. Once again, that graphite or matte black feature on the sink. Medicine cabinet right there, mirrored, and the glass enclosed shower, single surround over here. Let's see how much space I got. With these 78 inch high barrel ceilings, I got plenty of headroom. Plus, they gave me the nice skylight here. So, as you can see, being six foot two, not gonna have any issues there. Matte black on my shower controls. Just gotta watch out because I opened the shower on the wrong side. Sure. Come through here, I got some coat hangers leading me into my master bedroom. I got my command panel right here with my HVAC controls. You do have uh, on-demand hot water on this one. So you got that there, you got your water heater, you got the tank heaters on this one as well. Run out the slides, run out the awning. Come into the master bedroom and you got a queen size bed with the mirrored ward storage right here, the side opening storage right above the storage lip. Solid wood construction, man. Keystone knows what they're doing. They, they put the quality in the construction with their premier luxury travel trailers, and that's exactly what this Outback is. You got the little carpeted nightstand right there, some cubby storage, dual USB charging over here, 110 on the off-camp side. Plus, we're gonna have some storage underneath. Sorry, Kev. And if you notice down there too, Kev, there is a latched door 
That's because this doubles as a pet kennel. So if you need a safe and secure place for your pet to uh, ride while you're traveling down the road or at night when they're sleeping, if they feel more secure under there, they do have the option right there. Plus it is secured with the latch, but you got the queen size bed on the strut supported storage on the strut supporting, excuse me. And right over here, your LCD TV mounting bracket with your key TV multi-source connection. That's just one of those nice features that Keystone has built into their RVs, like the color coding with the wiring and the tubing. The key TV multi-source connection is a smart connection. So when you plug in the cable or your satellite, you don't have to go chasing for cables. This outlet already knows what's plugged in and will correspond. Got your 110 power right there. There's my blade vents, which we mentioned on the outside for that air conditioning system, which gives you about 30% more effective cooling with your air conditioning unit. But beautiful on the inside, and just as beautiful would you come on the outside of the all-new Keystone Outback 340BH. Once again, 38 feet, six inches long, 8,752 pounds, solid step-over steps leading us into the main entry. Beautiful graphics on this insulated zero to 100 degree RV. I like how it almost has this textured almost like asphalt type of look to it. Get your key TV connection out here, so if you wanna set up some entertainment outside, you can. Plus, GFCI outlet 110. Finished off pass-through storage right here. There you'll see our aluminum frame. Beautiful continuation of that decor from the inside. Plus, magnetic anti-slam on all of your storage doors here. Molded end cap with that rough kind of almost asphalt feeling coating on the bottom, solid single piece frame sitting on, you know, underneath this coach to give you some additional support. And that beautiful fiberglass end cap right here with the, almost that aggressive profile and that inlay of the outback in the window, almost making it look like you got a privacy window there. LED running lights, twin 30 pound LP tanks on this one, plus the BAL 7.3 auto leveling system on this one. Yes, your outback comes with automatic leveling. Come over here, we're gonna kinda of jump around a little bit. This is your uh, docking station for your connections. You got your external shower, your city water connection, your flush, your winterization, your tank fill right there. Got your black and your gray tanks. Now this one, you got a 60 gallon fresh tank, 76 gallon gray, 38 gallon black tank, and you do have your terminations for those right down there. Heated and enclosed underbelly. Insulated slide with a true fit construction, making sure that it truly fits the spot that it's supposed to go in and minimize the use of those components. Multi slides. Come back here to the back. Sorry, Fritz, for making you go through a obstacle course. Solid ladder mounted with the additional handles over the top for that safety and security. You'll see that we are set up for backup camera. That extreme arch to the ceilings that we saw on the inside with the barrel, that really helps on the outside too to keep all of the water off the top of this RV. So you got your key TV connection there. And then one of my favorite parts of any RV, especially bunkhouses, if you're gonna get a bunkhouse, you got to have the outside kitchen because it just adds to the entertainment, especially if you like to tailgate. You don't have something that can tow like a fifth wheel. Having this, when you go tailgate, you just go to the games, you go to the beach, go to the mountains, you drain the lake of fish. You can come out here, clean everything up, prep it, and even cook it without having to go inside. You got the extra large dorm style fridge right here. The metal top, which to me, I think just adds not only a little bit of ruggedness, but also some functionality because for clean, for cleaning up and also for prepping food really kind of helps out. Solid wood construction out here too on some storage, continuing from inside. And if you want to set up the TV so you can watch a game while you're cooking and prepping and doing all the stuff and getting ready to cook on your suburban two burner cooktop, you got your key TV connection and your 110 power right there so you can set it up. Got the large awning on this one with the LED light strip, the Solera adjustable pitch. And, and finally, right down here, Fritz, I don't know if you can really see them, but you do have those aluminum rims, nitro filled tires, with that extra wide berth on the suspension, giving you some safety and security. So if you've been looking for that premier RV for your family. You want something 38 feet, six inches long, roughly 8,700 pounds, 8,752 dry, can easily sleep nine with all the creature comforts and amenities from home. I think you found it with the Keystone Outback 340BH. 
You know, so talk to your specialist at Camping World and Gander and say, hey, here's what I can tow. Here's how many people I need to sleep. And here's where I'm going to go camping. Because that is going to help us find the RV that's right for you. Don't be like my friend Jace and just randomly pick an RV because he thinks it'll work. And then he realizes he can't tow it. Let us help you with that. And we'll have more with the Ultimate RV Show coming up next. Hang on. Thank you, Chris. And I tell you what, I love working with Chris and 